So because we are full-time traveling, we don't necessarily call what we're doing a vacation, but we did go on a vacation a couple of weeks ago. I was told to change because we're filming different episodes today. <laughs> so this is the outfit I'm going with for this episode. We're gonna tell you all the things that we did not get enough info for for separate videos. We're just gonna throw it all together here into un video. And if I'm causing too much noise from my jacket, You'll take it off. Mm. I apologize. <laughs> towards Dunedin and then boom random stop at Riverstone which really cool who knew there was more than one castle on the South Island because I knew of one which is Larnock Castle but then Riverstone like totally came out of nowhere and it has a moat and it was a really cool place with one an adult playground it did have an adult uh, playground it was really cool. It had a bunch of like, not little things, but you know, adult playground. Uh, two, it had crazy animals, peacocks. It did have peacocks. It had a bunch of peacocks, but it was a really cool space. So if you're driving somewhere in between Timaru and Dunedin and you want to hit Riverstone, do it. It's just a cool little place to yeah. be. Very random. Do it. But very cool. Okay, so next we made it down to- We went uh, to Dunedin. It was Port Chalmers? Yeah, like it was right near Port Chalmers. Par Paratubrua. It's called Puranaki. Pur uh, Puranaki. There's a lot of crazy names here. They're all really cool. It's just hard to remember. Something that it was that area I think is known for is cockling. Oh, cockling. Which we had never done before. So we were yeah. excited to cockle. We made it to the meeting. We're out in Port Canoe, which is kind of near our friend's house. And we're going to catch some cockles that are just under the sand. So you just dig your hands under the sand. They were really good. I mean, they're just clams. Yeah, like we just went and caught clam. clams. Yeah, it was. I don't know why it was so cool to us. But like, and then we went to uh, stay at our friend's sister's farm. Yeah. But it was they're turning it kind of into a work away, mm -hmm. and they're not quite there yet. But we got to experience it before they got there. They yeah. have a container unit on their land. It's like on the top of the hill of their property line, mm -hmm. and it looks over the bay. And is it a bay? Yeah, two bays. No, oh, it's water. There's lots of water. What's over the water? Mm -hmm. and it's they, really nice. They run an organic farm. I'm sure that the container thing, it's, it's going to be beautiful. So then we went to one of my bucket list items, a winery in yeah. New Zealand. New Zealand wines, they're popular yeah. all over the world. I wanted to really get to the root of New Zealand wines, see the vineyard. And a really historic one here was Rippin, so that yep. was the one on my list. And uh, we went there. I think... It was a very Instagram versus reality moment. Oh, it was. It was very. They just do tastings. They, they, yeah, they just they do tastings. They only do tastings. So you can't like buy a bottle and sit on the hill and like mm -hmm. overlook Monica scenery. The vineyard itself, amazing. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful mountain landscapes, vineyard, you're overlooking everything. Oh man, it was beautiful. We moved on and we went to, where did we go? Drum roll. Let me check the list. <laughs> the Wanaka tree. Okay, I need to preface the Wanaka tree. So this is something people will drive, like, I don't even know, five hours out of their way to go see this tree. Mm -hmm. It is by far the number one most photographed tree in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So obviously we had to go see it. Yay! What did you think of the tree? If you got up in the morning, made it a serious commitment, you got there at sunrise and you really had the colors to make it pop and the water was uh, still, still and you really put the effort and time, if you're, if you're photographing it, you were a photographer and you were there to do it, Yeah. the tree would be a cool, I mean, it's just a tree on the middle of the water. It's a cool fact, the eyes, it's, it's just cool. Yeah. But when you're there and you're there with all the other tourists and it's just, you're there just to see a tree in the middle of the day, lackluster. Yeah, it was weird. Super lackluster. So if you're the kind of person that wants that really cool photo, maybe for Instagram, maybe for your portfolio, and you want to dedicate your time to the seasonal changes and you want to hit it at the right time, golden hour, 
beautiful. If you're just a tourist driving by to see a tree. And it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. Just skip it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were driving back from uh, Twizel or Wanaka to come to Timru. We saw the beautiful things that Kate's been waiting to see the entire time we've been in New Zealand. I love lupins. The lupins. They were just fields, rolling fields. They were popping. Of lupins, these purple. They're weeds. Abergine weeds that pop best, out of the ground. The most but, beautiful weeds I've ever seen in my life. And so lupins, yes. Wanaka tree, meh. Wineries, yes. The farm, amazing. And Riverstone, random cool stop. Really it's cool. not, don't drive way out of your way for it, but definitely stop if you see that sign on the yeah. side of the road. If you like these videos and you want to see more of our faces on like the weekly basis, then subscribe to our channel. And Do we'll it. see you Do it. next week. All right, grab like this on the screen on the side, and then one, two, three. That was it. Okay. Was that cool? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.